Okay, so this is a demo as requested uh, by Timothy Riley uh, on one of my posts recently about pasting images into X Pages uh, CK Editor. So in my blog, I've outlined a few problems with pasting images um, into the CK Editor, and on this blog post is a solution which will uh, help um, correct the problem. And I've got a demo page set up help uh, to demonstrate the problem and then also the fix. And uh, to help me demonstrate, I'm using my MIME inspector, uh, which I've just blogged about um, as well and put a demo video on that. So we'll be using that to show the problem. So the problem that I describe is that when you paste images into the editor, um, they don't uh, work uh, when received by external webmail clients or even in in uh, the notes client um, they don't uh, they're not visible in certain notes clients so to show that happening when when you normally uh, embed an image with this button and I'll just choose one the new client uh, and then we'll save this one so normal and I'll save that and now if we have a look at the MIME inspector we can see that it has created a second MIME entity that is the uh, image and it's attached in, and side by side with the text. Uh, so if, now I'll show the problem is if we reload a new page, so we'll just call this the problem, type some things and then if I decide that I want to snip some of the page and highlight some of it and then paste this in there, it looks good to me. And if we save it, I'll just show the content as well. So we save it, and now we have a text HTML. I've got the content here, and there's no adjacent image. It's actually been uh, included as HTML binary code within the HTML. And this causes a problem uh, on certain clients. So what we want to do with the solution is to, instead of pasting that data URL, which I've talked about in other posts, uh, we're going to mimic this button by uploading the uh, 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 the image by that same mechanism. So uh, what we'll do now is go to designer and here's the demo page um, which I haven't configured anything different for rich text or anything like that. But what we're going to show you is some of the steps in my blog post. So if we were to look into, uh, so here's the NSF as you would see it, but if you go into the Package Explorer, uh, we can scroll down and find the Web Content folder. And this is the location where we put the Simple Uploads plugin. So these files were the ones that you purchase uh, from the Simple Uploads plugin website. And you would import them with uh, the import button and choose from the file system. And your end result is you want to have this structure in the web content. Uh, then, I mentioned in the blog, is to upload a script library or create one. And I've called it XSP Simple Uploads. And that has the content from the blog and that is explained in the blog as well. But basically it um, adds these extension functions uh, to the Simple Uploads plugin to listen for the upload events and tells it to uh, then do a uh, upload um, to these URLs and with these file names etc. And then when it is when the response comes back, we take the response and put it into the editor. And then, so that's the script library. And just at the top of the script library, this code is what registers our simple, the simple uploads plugin with CK Editor so that it knows about it. So then, if we want to configure the demo X page to use this, uh, we can, let's get the properties, 
we'll go to resources and we'll add the JavaScript library. So that's now on the page. And then for the rich text, we need to tell it uh, that it should use an extra plugin. So on the Dojo properties, I don't know why that is upset. Okay, so that panel doesn't work, but if we go into, uh, we want Dojo attributes here, and we add a new one, and we call it extra plugins, and the plugin is all lowercase, simple upload, let me just check, uploads. So now I'm going to save the demo page. So now we've configured the rich text to use another plugin and we've included our customization script uh, onto the page. So now let's go and test the new way. And so what we're going to do is paste the same image in and this time we're going to hope that when we save it, we'll see two MIME entities, which will be uh, this text and the image. So if we save that, we have a look. We can see it has uh, uploaded the image instead of uh, including it as HTML. And you can see that also happen if we were to start our, cons our network debugging and we will this time uh, do the paste again. You should see the post that posts the file to the server and the, res uh, the response to that is the new uh, the details of the image tag that it puts back there. So yeah hopefully that shows you the, the, uh, the solution. Um, this works in Chrome as well and in an explorer. And uh, any questions? Uh, yeah, put them on the blog. Okay, thanks.